bringing the Lakers forward. Meta World Peace joining us on the show. Who are you rooting for tonight, Indiana or Miami? Well, you know, definitely may the best team win. I play for Indiana, so I have a connection, you know, to Indiana. Had a great couple of years there, and uh, I'm a big LeBron James fan, so I like to see when LeBron plays well. So, uh, you know, may the best team win. Oh, no, you got to pick, Meta. You want your old team, or do you want LeBron James going to the finals? Well, I mean, I'm a big fan of, like, destiny, and, you know, uh, and I think, I think LeBron is destined for multiple rings, and I would love to see him accomplish that. You see what I'm saying? So if I had to pick, you know, but definitely I would have to pick Indiana because I played there. <laughs> Wait, you just picked both. No, no, I would pick Indiana. Okay. If I had to make a decision because you're making me uh, make a decision, so I would say Indiana. What is it like when LeBron starts to get going? where you're guarding him, and is it a helpless feeling when you realize that he can do what he wants to do when he wants to do it? You know, that, it's only helpless for, for defenders that have no chance and for defenders that really don't even know how to play defense or for defenders who are light and weak. But um, LeBron is a smart player. And so the difference with LeBron and other players is that he's going to – stay within himself. And when he stays within himself, that's a, a lot of skill, you know? So LeBron is definitely going to attack the rim. I mean, he gets a couple layups to get his confidence going. He's going to hit some jumpers. He's starting to knock down clutch jumpers, yeah. which is something he didn't do in the past. Dwayne Wade is not the Dwayne Wade of old. How good is he now? I think Dwayne Wade is fine. I think Dwayne's playing team ball, and he's uh, sacrificing his individual play for team ball. And the everyday fan, it's hard for them to see and understand the impact a guy like a Bruce Bowen makes. You know, a guy that's just going to hustle, get some good assists. And Dwayne Wade is taking a back seat to LeBron and to the rest of the team. So he's playing like a role player. And it's hard to be a role player when you've been a star for so long. That's even harder than being a star sometimes. So I think Dwayne Wade's doing fine if he was on any other team could be playing like a superstar. He's met a world peace, Lakers forward, and uh, has a children's book released last week, Meta's Bedtime Stories. I, I want to go back to the malice in the palace and understand how you had this transformation. That, I mean, that that person there, that Ron Artest, and now Meta World Peace, what, what was it that happened where you said, I have to change who I am and what I am? But it's not about changing. It's about when you grow up under different circumstances, you are who you are, and you're molded to be, you know, a certain type of individual. And when you make mistakes in life, you try to figure the mistakes out and how can you improve on yourself. So I never was the type of guy to say I've changed. You know, I, I was the type of guy to say, you know, uh, time, you know, uh, heals certain, certain wounds, you know, and, and with time, you know, you become a better person. So I, I don't think it necessarily changed. I think it's more about you know, maturing a little bit. It's more about getting to know yourself a, a little bit. Um, so I, I never regret, you know, the person that I was and the person that I am now. How important was therapy with all of this? I think therapy is very important in people's lives, you know, whether it's marriage counseling, couples counseling, parenting counseling, anger management class. Uh, I, think, I think counseling is very important, you know, for people that needed for people that grew up under stressful, you know, situations and, and environments where you grow up poor, environments where households is breaking up, things like that. I think uh, therapy is important. Did you see violence growing up in your household? Yeah, you saw violence growing up, you know, uh, you know, drugs, violence, police, uh, brutality, all type of different things because to warn you as a child and, um, when you get older, the thing is not to let those wounds stay with you. The thing is to, uh, you know, move on, get, you know, and and become a, a better person and become the person you're supposed to be. You uh, you wrote a children's book, Meta's Bedtime Stories. Why? Yes. I thought it was important. We got a line of books that we're releasing, and 
I was supposed to do a book on my life, but I thought this book to encourage parents to read to their children, and I'm sure a lot of parents read to their children that night. I just thought this was the best way to start it off. And when you read to your child, it makes them want to read when they get older. And education is very important, you know, along with all the mental health awareness that we're doing. I think education is just as important. I think it goes hand in hand. So we wanted to start off with a children's book. Can you read uh, any of the excerpts from your book? I'm actually not right now. I don't have the book in front of me. Uh, I wish I did, and I would have definitely read some. What's your favorite uh, story in there? You got five five stories. What's your favorite I think, one? I, I think mother. Yes, I think mother. My bed is a, a cute story for kids, and uh, it's things that uh, happen, you know, uh, at, at night when a kid dreams. And I remember being a kid and dreaming about things that's happening, and you know. Something might trigger that dream. You get a little bit scared. And I, li- I like Mud in My Bed. I think it's a, a cool story. You talked to Dwight Howard uh, in the off season. No, unfortunately, no. And it's not a something that's not unusual with me. During the off season, I spend a lot of time with my children. I spend a lot of time working out. And I spend a lot of time, uh, well, I spend a little bit of time on vacation. So uh, I have not talked to Dwight. I'm sure he's doing really good. What would you say to him? So why, you know, um, I wouldn't say, if I was to see him, I would say probably uh, what you're doing. <laughs> <Say the truth. laughs> because, uh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> you know, he's been a really good friend, you know, and uh, he's been a great teammate. Can't wait to see him, you know, as a leader. I can't wait to see him, you know, get that ring. Do you think he's coming back? I know he wants it. You know what? Uh, I never really thought about it until after the season because so many people were making a big deal about it, and obviously it's a big deal. But for me, when I was playing with Dwight this year, it was more just basketball. I never thought about was he coming back or was he not coming back. You know, um, it really wasn't important to me because I just, you know, just playing basketball and being a teammate. So I'm going to leave – the curiosity, <laughs> you know, to the fans and the, uh, and the media. But for me, it's like, you know, I see Dwight, I'll just say what's up. And, you know, maybe he's working out. Maybe he's chilling with the family. I'm not sure. But as far as basketball, honestly, I don't I don't, I don't really know. I don't have a, um, an opinion on that. Well, safe travels. We appreciate you joining us. Good luck with the book. And uh, great to talk to you again, Meta. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Meta World Peace is Bedtime Stories. Yeah, everybody was like... Thought I was joking when I said Meta World Peace is written in a children's book. But if you look at, I mean, that, I know he says he hasn't changed. Well, he has changed. That even maturing, you change. But he's, you know, he gave up his championship ring. You know, um, children's book. And, and, you know, he's in the twilight of his career. He's got two more years left with, uh, with the Lakers. But uh, I thought pretty amazing. Pretty amazing.